everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a design team project for Lavish Laces. Um, please check the description box below for links to how you can get um, to all this shabby yumminess. And also, Jazella's YouTube and Facebook page will be down there as well. I will also link a video for the design team package that I got to show you everything in its entirety. But these are the items that I use on a project um, that I'm going to show you today and I'm also going to give you um, a quick list it's not really a complicated list but I will be doing a tutorial on this project so uh, check the link for um, the items you'll need to prep for the tutorial coming soon so I used this flatback pearl this tiny one that's all I have left of that and I use this teeny tiny scallop trim super pretty and then I use some of this uh, cream color, oh that's a cream color, and then use some of this cream color um, lace. I also use one of these flowers, but I use the cream colored one. I use some of these uh, leaves, two-tone leaves. I use some of these trellis roses in this um, aqua color. And I also use a bling piece from her store. And then in particular I used this one here. Really, really cute. So um, let me go ahead and share with you what I made. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I love shabby and this makes me happy. So all of its shabbiness is right before you. Let me give you the 360. That's the back bottom. So this is this box I made from scratch. Very easy box to make. Um, so I, I wanted to have something to put my photos in when I um, I'm in a habit, getting in a habit of as soon as I get enough, you know, a good amount of photos, I'll send them over to get them developed and mailed to me. So they it sometimes is a big thick bulk. Um, so I use them in the mini albums, and then I have you have those leftover pictures. So where do you put them at? In that box in the garage? Well, I I wanted to start to keep the ones that I really wanted to focus on inside a container of some sort. So I decided to make one. Two in one, I love it. So um, I use chipboard, so a heavy um, chipboard box. And then I use Prima Paper Collection. It's an old Valentine collection. It's called, I believe, Celebrate Jack and Jill. I'll, I'll fix that. You just look for it down below somewhere. I'll tell you exactly the name of it. But I think it's Celebrating with Jack and Jill, or something like that. But it's really a pretty, pretty Valentine-y paper. So what I did was... Um, after I made it, con after I constructed the box, I cut the first layer of the paper. It's polka dots, pink polka dots, and you can see it kind of peeking out here and there. Really pink, really cute, um, shabby pink polka dots. And then I used this cream color paper to go on top. And then I s glittered it or sprayed it with my shimmer, and then I balled it up, and then I did a good whitewash. This was like a heavier yellowy color, but um, I did a really good whitewash and crumple on it. I have flat back pearls all around the edges. And then I trimmed it with that um, cream colored lace from Gisela's shop. I trimmed it all around here. You can tell here all around the edges there. Then I topped that with that flat back pearl trim. It just adds a simple elegance that I absolutely love. Then I um, each of these are layered um, on top of the the pink and then the white the cream on top there's a dimension a dimensional underneath them so that they can pop up a bit more and stand out so it's just not so flat I really wanted the rugged shabby look on there I just love it okay so um, whitewashed the top crimpled it up really really good to get it that and then I laid it flat you know so I could just have those slight crimples in it and then here I layered two, I made a banner with that lace um, with some fishtails at the end. This is a piece that I recently got in a swap with um, Betty. You'll see a couple of her pieces throughout here um, just to add accents to this box. And this gorgeous, this is so, and it's very, a nice firm. 
you can hear that, but it's a firm flower, and I love, I love it. So what I did with this flower, now you know this is a heavier yellow. It's a, it's still a pale, but it's more of yellow. You see more into the yellowy color. So what I did was take some gesso and some water and mix that up really good, more gesso than water, and then I painted this whole flower, let it air dry, painted it again, so it can have a subtle tone, a hint of that pale yellow to coordinate with this side. So, and then once that was dry, I added some stickles. See the stickles all on top of there? And I even added a little white on here to tone down some of that bling because I wanted to tone down all these bright, I wanted to tone it down a bit. So, super cute. I mean, this is just, I love it. I love this flower and how it turned out. Lots of stickles on it, lots of whitewashing. And as you can see, I added some leaves. Um, tuck those in behind here, stickle the edges to those leaves, whitewash it, and then add, added some snow text to it to give it that extra shabbiness. These two um, flowers are from Betty. And then here's another of that um, those Wild Orchid Craft flowers. I'm trying to leave this here. Another one here. Very cute. I added the text, uh, snow text, and then I added the um, stickles around it. This is just a flower collage that I put together um, with pieces of the swap as well. But um, look at that gorgeous flower. So you can get these flowers, this, this lace, this trim, this lace over here, all that's from Gisela Shop. So be sure to check that out. Even this tiny little flower here, that's, um, I forgot to show you that. That's, um, here let me, let me pull it out for you so you can see it. Because I surely forgot to show you. And I believe I have a little bit more. Here we go. These flowers, really, really tiny. I love them. They add just that finishing touch, and I stuck that right on top of there. Stickled it, added some snow text to it. This box is so, I just love how it glistens and shabs all at the same time. So, um,. On with the project besides that so top I love it it's, I, it's a functional you can definitely keep it in your room as just an eyepiece but I love hidden treasures so you would open this up and this is attached by um, magnets and you'll see here I leave these holes because it's two layers it's even the layer that I wrapped I put it I put the magnets here and then I rub them in the middle when I wet it to make sure that they become um, to come to the surface because it's already has layers over here and the magnets would end up not working it's like four layers of thick paper so no one sees this like when it's when it's closed like that so I just flip it open and then inside here's the directions <laughs> inside is the photo box see and then I just put um, little tabs just so I can know you know the levels so I have one tab for everyone in our family and then a miscellaneous box in the back so um, you know Taylor and Kyla Tyler Robert me TJ would have all of our individual photos that I if I'm doing a project or a layout for that specific person or family um, project I can uh, family mini album or something I can put the individual uh, pictures in there I'll know exactly where they where to grab them from and then here is just if you know everybody's in the picture miscellaneous pictures is in the back so everyone has their own little tab here super cute the boxes are handmade of course as well and they are a half an inch wide um, a half inch gusset in there you can make this as big of a gusset or as small of a gusset and you can make as many as you want I knew that I just needed seven boxes so um, I just made seven boxes, so I, that's all I needed for my display piece. Okay, and these hold full four by six photos, so they would slide right in there, four by sixes. Perfect, perfectly. So um, that is my project for Lavish Laces. I hope you guys like it. I certainly love it. Check out the links in the description box for everything that I mentioned in the video. Also, um, if you like the video, like it and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.